Muslims are very proud that they clean themselves with water. But did Muhammad get the idea from Allah? No, he learned it from the Jews. We'll show you how. Where did Muhammad learn how to clean himself? And yes, we are talking about Muhammad learning how to cleanse and clean himself after defecating and uh, other things as well. And you may think like this is a silly topic to cover, but actually no, because a grow up as a Muslim, I've always, always pointed out that Islam and the Prophet taught us how to be the most clean people and how to cleanse ourselves even in the most difficult, challenging situations. But little that I knew that the Prophet of Islam actually is in a copy and paste business. And in this case, we're going to show you where he actually adapted some of these uh, behaviors. With the with that in mind, of course, with us here in studio virtually, our dear brother Rob Christian. Rob, thank you so much as always for being here, and thank you for the wonderful research, brother, that you do. It's always an honor to collaborate with you. Thank you, dear brother, for inviting me again to do another video. God bless you, and God bless your wonderful team and audience. And again, today's topic, uh, we're going to talk about uh, how Muhammad uh, came with the idea to clean himself uh, and where did he get it from? Did he get actually divine revelation from Allah through Jibreel to learn how to clean himself? Because Muslims always brag, we uh, we are the most cleanest people out there. We do ablution. We When we go to the toilet, uh, we clean with water. Unlike you Christians, you only use toilet paper. And sorry for the wording, but it is what it is. That's what they always brag about. We clean with water. It's much cleaner to use water. But wait, where did Muhammad get the idea to clean himself with water? Where did he learn it from? Did he actually get divine revelation from Allah about it? Or did he copy it from somebody else? Let's see. Are you ready, brother? I am ready. Let's uh, go through these slides that you have. All right. So here the word, uh, the Arabic word is istinja, right? Cleaning oneself after urination and defecation. When you basically go to the toilet. So here is uh, a sheikh. Fadilat al Sheikh, right? An, an honorable Sheikh uh, that you see here talking about this topic. So, Muslims love to talk about these topics, right? And Muslims always tell us you should not be ashamed to talk about topics when it comes to Sunnah that they get the uh, teaching and tradition from Muhammad. Uh, and as you see, I put a, a red line here uh, for using toilet paper. No, Muslims you love to use water to clean uh, their selves after using the bathroom, istinja or istinmar, right? So istinja, right. cleaning uh, uh, of your private part, you're right, uh, after going to the bathroom. You want to add something on top of that, brother? No, I mean, you're on the right track, brother. I mean, uh, these are the uh, appropriate terminologies that All are right. used. All right. So here, uh, as you see, Muslims love to brag about it, but where did, like I said, where did Muhammad learned about this information from did he actually get it from allah or did he copy a group of people let's see if we go to sahih al-bukhari if we go to sahih al-bukhari hadith number 156 156 we see the following hadith narrated abdullah the prophet went out to answer the call of nature and asked me to bring three stones now we'll understand why Muhammad asked uh, Abdullah to bring three stones with him. Why? I found two stones and searched for the third, but could not find it. So took a dried piece of dung instead and brought it to him. He took the two stones and threw away the dung and said, this is a filthy thing. So what do we understand? What is the wisdom behind this hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari? The wisdom is that Muhammad only knew how to clean his behind by using three stones. So let's see <laughs> where Muhammad did an upgrade, an, an, an upgrade from three stones to using water. If we go to the next slide, to the next information, we find the following hadith. And brother, maybe you can help us out here. It says, Majma' al-Zawad wa manba' al-Fawaid. Can you please read on top and then continue reading the following hadith? 
Uh, yes, uh, so that's the title basically of the source uh, and it shows the page, page 213, 213 and it yeah. gives you the name of the author, Nuruddin Ali ibn Abi Bakr al-Haythami. Yeah. And the, uh, the, the the narration or the tradition is number 1058. People can see the number right there. And it says, وَعَنْ Muhammad ibn Abdullah ibn Salam, meaning narrated from Muhammad, the son of Abdullah, the son of Salam, who said, لَقَدْ قَدِمَ رَسُولُ الله, meaning the Prophet came, uh, يعني, uh, قبا, meaning to the area of Qaba, فقال, saying, إن الله عز وجل قد أثنى عليكم في الطهور خيرا. Allah basically uh, transcended, uh, and may he be transcended, I should say, uh, you know, technically speaking, gave you a good thing in terms of tahur or cleansing, the act of cleansing. أفلا تخبروني. Why don't you tell me? So, anything else you want me to add before we continue? Yeah. So here, Muhammad is interested. He sees a group of people, and shortly we'll see that these people are the Jews, always copying the Jews. Muhammad is interested. Hey, I, I see that you're doing a wonderful uh, thing here. Can you tell me? So here, Muhammad is not getting divine revelation from Allah through Jibreel. No, no. Muhammad is going to copy a group of Jews who are cleaning themselves. So brother, if you want to continue and translate, you will see how damaging things become because Muhammad clearly is a fake, a fraud prophet who was copying the Jews, the people of the book, the, one of, uh, you know, the Jews, to clean himself with water. Because before that, as we showed you, he used to only clean with three stones. Continue, brother. Yeah, so Abdullah, Muhammad ibn Abdullah ibn Salam says this is in reference to what the Quran saying, Fihi rijalun yuhibbuna an yattahharu wallahu yuhibbu al-muttahirin. I'm going to paraphrase this. There in, in it, there are men who likes to cleanse themselves and Allah love those who cleanse themselves. So that's what he meant. Uh, he said that that's what Muhammad meant when he told him that Allah basically is really bragging about you to me, saying that, uh, you know, uh, these guys do an excellent uh, job when it comes to cleansing themselves. Exactly. Okay. And now we understand who these people are and where, from what, and from what kind of people Muhammad took it and yep. made it Islam and it became Sunnah, that Muslims today are love loving to brag about it. Hey, you Christians, you atheists, you clean with toilet paper, but we clean with water. We clean much better than you. But wait, your prophet only used to clean with three rocks, with three stones he's behind. Right. Continue, so, brother. So Muhammad ibn Abdullah ibn Salam says, they told Muhammad, فَقَالُوا يَا رَسُولَ الله, O Messenger of Allah, we find it written in the Torah, في التوراه. نَجِدُهُ مَكْتُوبًا عَلَيْنَا فِي التَّوْرَةِ We find it in the Torah, meaning the act of istinja with water. So All you right. have folks, I want to distinguish for you, istinja, the use of water, istijmar, the use of stones. So this is how we grow up learning about where to cleanse yourself if you don't have water. For instance, that's the istijmar, or if you have water, how to do that. Exactly. So where did Muhammad learn from? From the people of the book, in this case, the Jews. So Muslims, stop bragging about that it's Sunnah. Muhammad simply stole it, copy and paste it into Islam from the Jews. He didn't receive any divine revelation. He only got it from the Jews. Yeah, Muslimin, your religion, your man-made religion is nothing but a copy paste from the Jews and the Christians, as you see. Yes, it's copyrighted. And if YouTube existed at the time of Muhammad, he would have gotten strike one right now. Exactly. And here is the translation, dear brother. Majma' al-Zawa'id wa Manba' al-Fawa'id, volume one, page 213, by Imam al-Hafiz al-Haythami. That's the reference on top. From Muhammad bin Abdullah bin Salam, he said, the messenger of Allah came to us, meaning Quba, and said, Allah has praised you well in terms of purification. So would you not tell me? So here Muhammad is asking the Jews, please teach me how to clean yourselves. They, the Jews said, do you see it? Oh, ya Rasulullah, oh, messenger of Allah, we find it written for us in the Torah, meaning using water to clean yourself or oneself after urinating and defecating. So you see, 
Muhammad heard it from the Jews, he learned it from the Jews, and it became suddenly Islam, it became the Sunnah, the teaching and tradition of Muhammad. So Muslims, you got everything from the Jews and the Christians and so on. Not only that, Muhammad says Allah actually, his Allah, was bragging about the Jews. So why do Muslims, by the way, claim that the Jews are dirty uh, people, basically, that they, uh, you don't, uh, you're not supposed to associate with them, if Allah himself is bragging about them? Exactly, brother. So you see, Muslims, your religion is nothing but copy-paste. Please leave Islam. Leave Muhammad the copy-paste machine of his lifetime in the 7th century and come back home to your Lord and my Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thank you. God bless. Amen, brother. Thank you so much. And as always, my Muslim friends, what did we prove to you from, from this uh, particular show? You may wonder, you know, it's like, what, what is the point behind this show? Thank you. Because what is the point behind that hadith in the first place or those sayings? But we're using your own sources and we're telling you that even simple stuff like this that is common sense, allegedly Muhammad didn't even know that the use of water could be incorporated in terms of cleansing oneself. And he has to rely on the Jews yet again to learn how to do it correctly. But you know, brother, we are going to hear this. Oh, these are Israeliyat, you know, they are just, just, you know, somebody invented those things. No, 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 these are Islamic sources, reputable sources, and uh, we have reputable narrators here who are talking about it. So whether you accept it or not, well, the question is to you, what did you learn from this other than the fact that the prophet, your prophet actually, didn't even know how to conduct himself in such a simple manner to cleanse himself after urinating or defecating. For God's sake, even Siri knows about these things. You can just ask her and she'll tell you what to do. With that in mind, uh, we just wanna invite you to come to the real one who will cleanse you, not just from things like this, from, but he will cleanse you from the real problem, sin. Only Christ can cleanse you from sin by the shedding of his precious blood. He will wash away our sin and he will reconcile us back to God and he will lead us into eternal life in paradise. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, brother. Thank you, everyone. This is Al-Fadi over and out. God bless you. Take care. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel, Sierra International, and click on the bell so that you receive notifications whenever we publish a new video or go live. I would also like to appeal to you to consider becoming a Patreon patron by clicking the link right below. By doing so, you can give towards the production of these videos. There are also other options for you where you can give to our channel. I thank you from the bottom of my heart.